way back we've been friends since way back made in since way back how it's been since way back since back then can't change that we've been <laughs> so it looks a little more i don't know i guess it looks a little more gory i think it's gonna be hard to tell until we see the whole it, picture it look bro like bro that well seen <laughs> it's just like you you know that's gonna be it's gonna be so dumb is what it's gonna fucking be it's gonna, but it's, it's gonna be pretty great though i'm gonna love it it won't be bad <laughs> i mean it's it's one of those scenes that's just i can already tell it's a fucking it's a oh god what's his name again the deep is that his yeah, name? He, the deep, yeah, it's a, that, the that, deep that's, scene, that's, and I—he was be like, the funny thing about it though, uh, is dude, that but he's he gonna was, be like, "You're not gonna do nothing with my big giant well," and the guys are <laughs> gonna be like, mm, bro, "Bro, we don't care about that well." Like, <laughs> I gotta save. I, I just can't, man. He was by far the stupidest part of season one. Oh not yeah, he was. I mean, he I, is. I the mean, only part is really like character. He, I think they really make fun of it because they just like, awkward, you know, they're trying to make a fun of. Which of Aquaman, I, I like totally get, but it's like some of it was too much. For example, the uh, the gills, the gills, bro. The gills is really too much for sure, especially because it was totally added in. You know what I mean? Like that, that wasn't, wasn't in the comic, right? Not at all. Big... He's not the same kind of character in the comic. He's like a <laughs> he's more I like have... Namor in the comics than Aquaman. I have Aquaman. to read it again, yeah, because I read maybe about ten issues and I haven't. Been, uh, caught that from since then and he's not a big but, deal in the comics he doesn't but barely show up mm -hmm. probably a couple well, scenes if even yeah well i you know it looks good it looks oh, like yeah. I said, it looks pretty I, gory from what i'm saying if yeah, seeing i, I mean they did say they're gonna step it up a notch <laughs> which it does seem a bit like they have uh i think for me it's because it's about not just the gore but like the intention and like the not even emotion, but like energy behind it. Mm -hmm. So, for example, right, uh, the scene in season one where he's roasting ladies' eyes out, kind of Brightburn style or whatever. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, where he's looking into her eyes, and all that. that has because the scene leads into this gory, like meaningful thing, as opposed or like the whole exploding of translucent. Right? There's a <laughs> that, that scene was raw, <laughs> and even that, that one. Was... Even that one, I don't feel like is that gory. Like really, it wasn't, but it was just like wow. Right, because bro, of like... the energy, it gets more impact. You know what I mean? It's like mm -hmm, all this mm -hmm. energy behind him, like press the button. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I, it does look awesome. Uh, there were a couple things I thought were interesting for sure, such as Stormfront's new whole thing. Whatever they're gonna do, it's gonna be totally different. It looks like than. Yeah. The comics for sure, which is fine once again. It's just going to be an interesting take. It's always cool. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it, as long as they don't steer off the path too much. Well, they I mean, did I guess last it's okay. time. Once I mean, again, I think it's. Its own thing. Yeah, it's, it's definitely become its own thing. I think once again, and this is. I think this speaks to a lot. We can speak on experience from this from Marvel stuff. And also in the opposite way Walking of. Walking Dead. True. But as long as it sticks to the spirit of the original material do you know what i mean yeah the feeling yeah, yeah, I see, and yeah, i feel I like yeah. uh spider-man and marvel is the same way captain america in such a way that right you could do another captain america with uh sam wilson as the mm -hmm. new captain america because as long as you did it in the style right where it follows the same basic ten tenements uh i'm trying to think of a really good example uh that's not cartoon related did you ever see the new uh not it the thing the the new thing they put out in oh, like the new one yeah the one that was kind of supposed to be like a prequel right, right. the, the yes. 19 the one with kurt russell yeah which the yeah, original is a cool one. classic i mean actually it's just a classic i wanted classic. to like that one but i don't know that one was okay i really enjoyed it because it went along the I same think, ideas you know what i don't yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, what I probably just didn't like. By the way, it was just it was just too much CGI for me. And I think I I love the first one because not even yeah. the first one because that's actually a remake of even the re yeah, original the 1940 remake. one. Yeah, yeah. and that so, was always I mean, my thing is they just do it every thirty. Which is funny because the original one was was a remake and this one was just a prequel remake. Yeah, yeah. I do prequel. agree that the I mean that the fucked up part is that's probably the worst part about it is it's CGI. 
But the reason I like it isn't necessarily for it's obviously that, but for the fact that it goes so well with the original story, how yeah. it leads into the set to the exactly. yeah the no that was movie. perfect. I love that it explains and, a little bit more. Oh yeah, and once again, I think the feeling of the movie. In the sense, once again, it loses some of that feel because it went all CGI instead of some practical effects. That's they should have thing. mixed it. They should have definitely mixed it. But it has the same feeling of the uh, can't trust anything. You know what I mean? It's like, oh, the dog yeah. is the monster. Yeah. Oh, the the monster's on the beaker in the cut. In the You know what I mean? It's just that very old school raw feeling of that. Uh, there were some new examples. I Honestly, everyone really uh, bashed on it. But the Halloween that Rob Zombie did, I really liked. I liked the first one. The second I one. I didn't see the second one. Stopped. I didn't oh, don't see watch the yeah. second one. Please I, don't watch it. I've been told not to. <laughs> but the first one followed with the exception of kind of demystifying him, which I heard they redid in the second one when they bring him back. But but, it, but by making him it, more. It gets yeah, but by making him. And even though he was kind of more human, right? Like less supernatural can take whatever bullets are thrown at him. The feeling of Michael Myers, right? What he was about, that kind of tension of killing, you know what I mean? The tension before the kill is really what Michael Myers is about. You know what I mean? That actor they got to play him was perfect. Yeah, like, they absolutely had a good one. On. Like, he, he, like, when you look at him, you're like, that guy you don't want to mess with. He could just, like, with one hand, you're just like, uh, uh, you're done for. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, yeah, the casting was great. I liked the first, yeah, I liked his first one. It was good. I mean, but, I uh, I've heard a lot, yeah. Life. I heard a lot of people didn't like it, but once again, I liked it because even though it didn't follow the mythos, maybe, of Michael Myers all the way, it followed yeah. the... I liked that it was more of like he was, they, they kind of went, he was more of like a psychotic kind of... Killer, yeah, as, opposed, killer. To, that was as cool. opposed to a mythological serial. You like know what a I mean? devil, you know, that's what Yeah, or even Dr. like, Lumen I just... Call him. Yeah, and I, I think more to the fact of like Jason being that supernatural level of like durability and stuff, whereas Michael Myers, I obviously he was depicted that way in a vast majority of the movies, where he's just like superhumanly durable, but they did a better job of it, I think... Not in the old ones of being like less that and more just like maybe the psycho killer who feels I, no pain and yeah, it was a good origin story. That's what it was. Oh, too. for more sure, a, for sure. It was really good I, origin. Story I'll say for him. this: I really I like that one better than the new one that came out, which wasn't bad either. The the I most like recent remake. I just enjoyed it because they brought Jamie Lee Curtis I, back and she I was liked being a badass. it. <laughs> I liked her in it. What I didn't like was. One, the ending. I think most of the ending, first... Yeah, ending was a little... Most of the first half I really enjoyed. Uh, mm -hmm. Even to the point where the doctor is like, no, you can't kill him, and, you know what I mean, shoots the cop, and, you know, it really felt along the lines of that stuff. But... Uh, yeah. Yeah. It, once again, it was just a, a different feel. You know what I mean? It yeah. didn't feel like the old Halloweens necessarily. It was like, we're gonna kill Michael Myers this time. <laughs> And that's not that's not what Michael Myers movies are. Michael Myers movie are is Michael's coming to kill you. So yeah, it was yeah, it was different. It was a different take. Like yeah, but we'll yeah. see how the second one comes around. Yeah, like, I heard they were. We won't see another. that one until next year. Now, God, jeez. <laughs> oh, did you hear the new drop date for New Mutants? Did they, oh, but I heard that was for the international people now, though. Uh, might be. Is yeah. that for us as well? I don't yeah, know. Let's I, see. Uh, I, I did hear something about that, but I. Well, thought, if I it's international, it, it should be go for us too. Well, yeah, this one's still coming up. Uh, let's see. I mean, uh, yo, they might just they might just drop it on Disney Plus. So They're, they they they've already dropped Mulan on Disney Plus. I, I mean, so apparently. The Comic Con homepage had said August twenty eighth. Um, now are they saying something different. Wait, now, man, I don't know, man. <laughs> no, I'll have to do oh, some more research. No, no uh, they said it. The new one says that they're gonna hit theaters if theaters are gonna open. Ah, okay. So. I think it'll probably be maybe select theaters. Granted, this was July 23rd when this article was released, so it's been a week mm -hmm. or two. But once again, I had just – who is it that – the only reason I know why is one of my friends tagged me, and he's like, what is this? And I was like, I've been telling you about this for three years. <laughs> this is like it's, – it's more than regular procrastination, okay? He's like – 
Well, um, let's see here. So that's up. Oh, we'll see what happens, I guess, with that. Yeah, that one I hope they eventually drop down soon. But Bill and Ted's supposed to be coming out here at the end of the month. That'll be they, good. I'm supposed to go with my uncle. He's real excited about it. Yeah, let me know if you guys go or whatever. Yeah, I'll, we'll figure it out. I I don't know. I eventually have to see uh, what's happening with the years are even open. Are they? The I, I thought they were at this point at some places. But That's right. how I said. I was like, I don't know how. Dude, right? Yeah, no one uh, even goes. So who the f knows? You know what I mean? I have, Fuck. I have no idea. Yeah, so we'll have to see what's going to happen. Yeah. Um, well, let's see. So we talked about a little bit of some movies. Is there anything else that... That you had seen that was kind of uh, uh, be coming out here soon. Uh, eventually, I was see, uh, looking towards it, but the there we go. I'll get that on the replay. Uh, I hadn't really seen too much. I mean, obviously, they're just not pushing them out because there's yeah, nowhere to push so them far, out yeah. to. Yeah, which I totally get. You know what I mean? I'm not like criticizing because obviously, hmm. sorry. Well, I guess we could talk a little bit about John Wick, supposedly. Yeah, four John and Wick, five. Four and five. Yeah, both got at the same time. Which I, it's too much, man. Three was Keanu really Reed, good, Keanu. man. Three was really good, and I enjoyed the thing. I even three was good enough that I was willing to go. All right, let's go for four. Four is we let's can do go four. for four. Fives, bro. <laughs> I, I can't I mean, think of a single a of transporters. I can't. Yeah, and and look at how that ended up. Yeah, there, no, I can't think of a. Great, yeah. I can can't think of a single series in the history of film that has gone beyond four movies without a bad movie in there. Yeah, I like, don't know. We'll see. How like that I goes cannot. For him. You can get a trilogy with no bad movies, but I've mm. never heard of anyone going beyond a trilogy and not fucking it up somehow. You can still do good after that. But my big example right there is like Fast and Furious Three, Garbo. Uh, yeah, they I, didn't do well. They didn't have who, any of the original who was, cast. Who was even okay for me? Oh yeah, it, it wasn't. Was, it, it, it wasn't it ended great. On one for me. It ended I, on one. For I me. was all right with two because they brought in. Uh, I can't remember the actor's name, but the black actor, who's Tyrese. Tyrese. I really enjoy that actor even before Fast and he Furious. Was funny. Yeah, funny. he I made like that him. he made that movie for me. I don't care. I didn't. I didn't. I don't care too much for Paul Walker as a actor, and that was his movie, right? Yeah. Where he was the star. He's okay. He was fine. He just wasn't my favorite. I watched for uh, Vin Diesel. You know what I mean? That's what yeah. I watched for was Vin Diesel, and it's all about the family, man. You know but it mean? wasn't. Hit. There's no Vin Diesel on two. You no, or you three. <laughs> all, or right, three. All, all right. All oh, right. Wait. 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 There, there. That, that. That's not enough. That's like. 0.1% Vin Diesel in the movie. You know what I mean? <laughs> 0.001%. They watered down that Vin Diesel when they hit it in there. Yeah, um, so, I mean, yeah, that one needs to for sure shut down. That one. I mean, once again, they did better movies after that. Four is pretty good. The one... There's some... Yeah, there is some okay ones, but then it's my, really friend, gotten to the point of uh, my friend's just like he's like now the action scenes are just getting way too ridiculous. Oh, bro, they've been just... way too ridiculous since four or five, and they're on like eight I, or nine. I, I was watching a, a little animation. Somebody was making fun of him where they were saying, you know, like they they jumped out the window. Remember the rock and then yeah, and they, it's jumped, like... they fall in the car, and then she's all stabbed and everything in the chest. She's like, oh, 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 we're bleeding, and she's like, oh, the car's on fire, and for the car blows up and then uh it's the ronda rousey fight right oh right and it's uh she's uh she's like are you gonna be okay can you handle it and uh she's like don't worry i'm a mechanic and she as soon as that happens she gets ronda rousey just gets on her and goes boo 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 <laughs> and then it's just like uh, yeah. yeah i mean it's funny but still I don't know. Fast and Furious did have some good ones, like you said, here sprinkled in between. But, but, but yeah, yeah, my point being, and I'm sure somebody can like refute me and point out an example of one they think has got more than three movies and has all of the movies are good movies. But I really um, cannot think of a single set of movies that are all good and and sequential. You know what I mean? Yeah. There's e always going to be something. E even classic, really good stuff like The Lord of the Rings. Not all three of those are good movies. Mm. They're all right. Yeah. Some, sometimes. You I, know was, what I, mean? I, <laughs> I was watching the first one uh, well, about a few months back. but uh, I, watch them about, I watch them about once a year as a uh, token. Age. <laughs> it's, 
it's one of those things where because I've much like Star Wars because I've gone into the deeper realms of the Tolkien's universe, I have to remind mm-hmm. myself and it's something that's so dense that if you don't read it for a while you're going to like fuck shit up a bunch. So I just got to go back every once in a while and kind of brush up on it. Although my ah, favorite okay. is still the Hobbit. Hobbit's still probably <laughs> the best of the books. Except for yeah, the like S- Simus Aurelian, but yeah. Well, let's see here. Uh, I know that they have uh, the Proud Family. They're really pushing for it. They're yes. showing off a new character that they have for the show. Oh, um, the animation looks a little different from what I'm looking at. I mean, it looks kind of the same, but like, I don't know. Oh, they no, just that's look... a straight switch up. I see what you're talking about. No, nah, it's real different, it... actually. I'm yeah, just there's, it's, it's, yeah. you could see hints of the original, but yeah. you could see that there's, yeah, a lot they've, of change they've in They've taken a more, it looks... And I hate to say it because that's it's just what they do in cartooning now. They're not hand. It doesn't look like they're hand drawing it. This oh anymore. yeah, everything. They're, everything is now a, digital. It's, yeah, it's vector based most likely, which is why it seems the way it is as opposed to the way it was. You got yeah, you got more textures going on there. It's just the sharper. Things. Everything is sharper. Everything is uh, flatter. It, you know what I mean? It's uh. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to. It's, it's so, more. Iconic. I mean, it's so. It looks pretty good to me, though. I mean, it's not going to bother me too much. I no, mean, it's, I mean, it's I'll fine, watch it but... for sure. I've just been wanting them to get back with. It. I mean, I really like. I the know, right? That's what the, I said. And all um, that good stuff, but looks like they yeah. have the voice actress to play her too. Um, so, yeah, I don't know when that's supposed to be coming. They're not saying a date yet. It still says coming soon. So maybe the end of the year. Maybe fingers crossed. I don't Hopefully. know. Hopefully, we'll I mean, everything has been pushed back lately. So I, I mean, know, I would so. hope, but we never know. I mean, but the only thing I can say is animation. You kind of can do. You know, you don't have to be physically all there. I um, guess it depends on how your studio's set. If all your yeah. animators work from home or are far enough away, you'd be fine. But. From what so, I understand, on most animation studios, it's kind of cubicled out, which is so going to we'll make them rough. Uh, we'll see how when that comes out. Hopefully, I guess that soon. Um, I, I'm hoping it looks good. I like the character design. Once again, just because the art style changed doesn't. I will say that does fuck <laughs> fuck with stuff, but it's not as bad as like a voice actor change. Yeah, that's a really voice actor changes thing. are un. For me, at least, maybe it's because I do audio or whatever, but un- I can't, man. If they change the voice actor, I'd rather you kill the character off, honestly. Just have him <laughs> get hit by a fucking bus. I am so serious. They just did it uh, in this one series I'm watching because the character was voiced mm-hmm. by Vic Mignogna. And they dropped him for the whole uh, allegation suite that was against him, which it looked uh, like ended up being a uh, total... Oh. It, f- it seemed like half and half that there may have been one or two, but like the vast majority of them were fake and he was getting bombarded mm, by them. I see. Yeah. Which is well, unfortunate for him, but they switched him out and they should have just killed the character. They should have just <laughs> killed the character or you know what? When you have something like that, fucking have him fuck their vocal cords up and give him a robot voice. I'm so yeah. serious. Anything, anything that is not like, oh, he just sounds different now. Mm hmm. They did it in. There's a couple ones where they do it. Uh, the only the only season of the X Men animated series that I don't like is the one where they change voice actors for one of the characters, which is the mm, last okay. season, season four. I don't know. It's a big one for me. I can take art style switches. I can take so many switches. I cannot do it when the voice actor changes. And I think my problem is they never even try to get somebody who is a decent replication. Like mm-hmm. you'd figure you could find a impersonator. You know what I mean? Yeah, you can. It's, I mean, there's people. Yeah, do you really sh- good jobs. Sh- yeah, but they never hire those guys. They just get somebody else. Yeah. Like I guarantee you, for the character that Mignano was playing, it wasn't such a complicated voice that somebody could not have like done a good impression. Mm-hmm. And maybe it's like a legal well, thing, but. Yeah. Well, let's see here. So uh, other things here on news is Mulan's moving to Disney Plus and, and select years. And it's a paid extra. I don't know if you saw that. Yeah, that. yeah. That I mean that, which is I mean mm. fine to me because you know I guess uh, now they're gonna you know they they lost all their money from all their parks being closed and then now they're not really getting their get their only revenue is just having the no i mean i get it but you're asking for people to pay for something when they're already paying you're gonna lose more customers honestly maybe they won't but i'm not paying for it i'm not watching it 
That's for sure. Well, yeah, they said though after you pay for it, it's kind of like just you know you you own it after that point. That might be worth the thirty bucks yeah, so, then, but that's why. Yeah, it's not. I don't know if I'm anything. gonna. I don't know if I'm gonna like the movie, so I still probably wouldn't do it. Yeah, we'll we'll end up buying it just because we want to watch it just to see how oh, it yeah. ended up being. But but um, once again, so yeah, I'm, yeah, and I'm just speaking on like once again like the regular person like who's not like us mm -hmm. and doesn't have to watch it or really really care about it i'm not sure how yeah hopefully like the regular there. movie goer will just you know count you know well it's gonna cost me anyways 15 17 dollars to go see the movie and then another 10 15 dollars to go buy snacks and a drink i don't know we'll see how they it's, all how once again I, it's not even the price of the thing it's the fact that you're adding payable content to a subscription service which you just should yeah. not do I you know, should have. They should have just released different. it on. They should have just kept it off Disney Plus. You could have put it on Hulu. You could have put it on the thing. But by putting it on Disney Plus, you've like tainted your pure base subscription service, and now people are going to instantly doubt whether anything is gratis on there. Mm -hmm. So no matter what, even though that's not how their system works, right? Then it's not going to be like, oh, something's from now on are going to be paid and some things it's just this movie and maybe some other movies that they haven't been able to push out due to the corona but people are going to associate it with like i don't know whether the show that i want to watch is going to have to be paid extra for yeah see and that's and, a sucky thing that people are going to think like that it's just like you you know once again that's basic situation. that's basic marketing though like that's yeah. on disney plus for doing that you know mm -hmm. what i mean it and once again you can tell because it hit all the forums so negatively like it's not like people are blasting Mulan being on Disney Plus is like yeah. a great thing. Uh, a lot of people, I think, even ignored the article though, because like a lot of people didn't even know. Like, because like I said, it was uh, once you buy it, it's yours at that point. But like oh, yeah. a lot of people are reading the comments, kept saying, "Oh, it, so I only get to own it for two days, and all oh, that's it." Like a lot of the people are like, no, "Oh yeah, nobody reads them." But that's ours. that's the point that I'm making. <laughs> yeah, I know people most get people, really mad as soon as they see it. Right. The the more more to the point, they don't they don't want to read the article. They don't give a shit if you didn't put in the article well enough or in your release that this is what was happening right that they mm -hmm. the average person's going to look at the article title and keep scrolling and have an opinion mm -hmm. and they know that they're just disney's not stupid they're a fucking multi-billion dollar marketing corporation they should have known that that is what was going to happen and maybe they have to do it like they have to to make the money right like might be yeah. up against the wall i mean they ha i mean they have to i mean like i said they've lost about four billion dollars they said since this coronavirus has happened so i'm sure it's a decent I mean, amount but that's why your infrastructure is supposed to be set They're, they make several billion dollars a year if they don't have a windfall for times like this that's just poor business on their part mm -hmm. um, but that's just a sucky thing you know like a lot of oh, businesses even that were like you know who you thought would be okay or not doing as good as you thought which, they were doing which is once again usually because they didn't adequately prepare for bad times like you're supposed mm -hmm. to squirrel away a hundred percent of your operating costs for the year once you make a profit as a cushion especially mm -hmm. in a like a big company like that you should definitely have that but instead what the multi-billionaire ceos do is they take fatter paychecks every year and leave the company in a place where if anything happened, the company goes bankrupt, but their assets are fine. And that's what bothers me is that Disney's going to act like this is a huge boon to the business, but it's not. It's just, once again, a bad distribution of their funds to the management of the, the entire company. Um, mm -hmm. And this choice, once again, is I mean, interesting. It's, that's how Disney's always been, though. You know? Right, but that I doesn't mean, you that gotta, just You gotta watch a lot of the older <laughs> documentaries of... Oh, no, there are awful where... business people, like... Yeah, like yeah. even when Disney first started, their parks like were actually they were about to go bankrupt when they first started because Oh yeah, they they've always they, been they, terrible they business people. They the whole thing. Dis actually too what's funny was that they when they opened the park firstly when the people first started going in, they didn't they, there was still stuff not even finished built. Oh yeah. People were walking in and they and were actually their feet stuff. were sinking into the cement because the tar was just not set yet. And then there was no uh, – they had the decision to either put bathrooms or fountain drinks. So they made the decision that, well, we got to have bathrooms. So when people were there, there was literally no no fountain drinks anywhere. So people were, like, thirsty and dehydrated. Oh, they, yeah. and they've, they, they've never been the greatest business people. They've always been good marketing people. 
Disney's excellent at marketing and and uh, branding, right? Mickey mm-hmm. Mouse, the parks, they're good at marketing and branding, but they're awful, awful at like new business expenditures and stuff. The reason they stay afloat is basically because of capitalist commerce keeping them at the top. It's a, and and media being the new flow. But like you said, if you compare it to something like, and once again, I'm sure all these giant companies run like this nowadays. They run yeah, like pieces AM, of shit. I mean, yeah, yeah I guarantee you, all of them run like right. that because once again, the owners care more about a personal paycheck than making sure that the company is in a safe place for the future. Because once again, they make so much above their operating costs every year that they could have squirreled away operating costs for a fucking hundred years. Mm-hmm. But they didn't. And so I don't feel bad that their business is doing not so great when everybody's not doing so great because they didn't make good decisions to stop that. Yeah. Well, it, let's see here. I so, hope they do better, know, we, though. Yeah, we'll have to see. I mean, that's the thing, you know. I want them to do good because, like, not because I, of those people. I want it because of all the yeah, stuff that us. they have. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Once again, like, oh my God. but at the same time, I actually would rather Disney went under and sold all its titles off. They would get more the attention. Stage, and then, like, uh, who would those titles go to? Would they even go to worse companies? And could, then, like, be, I don't but, know. But, could be, but once again, uh, you know, a lot of people aren't happy with Disney's. They would say nobody could do it worse than Disney. So it's all opinion, you know what I mean? People are yeah. so angry at Disney about Star Wars right now that Star Wars is basically in the trash. Now, whether or not Star Wars is actually bad right now is, is irrelevant because people believe it is not good. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? They are not happy. I mean, I've never seen the Star Wars community so divided since the last trilogy. Like, ever. Like, we would argue about things, but you would never have someone say, like, even when the prequels <sighs> came out, you would get in trouble for making fun of anything except Jar Jar. Yeah, I don't know. Just nowadays, people... They're, Once again, uh, I don't uh, agree they, yeah, with them. Yeah, they're just they're just like people get really like wow. It's just I don't know. Like even in the toy groups now, like they're getting they're getting really bad in the toy groups. Like I don't know. Just just I don't know what it is. <laughs> is it just the internet? And then I think it's just the just, internet, honestly. And people are just like oh well, I can just say whatever the hell I want, anyways. And I, it, doesn't said, matter. it I think it really is that people are too comfortable not getting punched in the face for the shit they say. Yeah, so I mean, it's get, it, like I said, I've been noticing things all over the place getting really bad, and like I don't know, you just I don't no, know, and, it's really it's and once bad, again, but... I don't agree with the people who are like bashing the new trilogy. But I, I didn't think it yeah. was that bad. But they're they're out there. It was kind of like yeah, yeah, I was yeah. having a discussion with someone earlier where it was like, well, we don't see a problem, or you see a problem, and I don't, so we shouldn't like go any further because we haven't agreed mm-hmm. there's a problem. I was like, well, that's not necessarily true either. Just because I don't agree that there's a problem doesn't mean there's not a problem. I just don't think there's a problem. Right. So, it's, you know, if this many people are out there complaining about it, there's obviously something going on. Maybe it's not the, the, the product, maybe it's them, but there's something, right, that people are having an issue with. And once again, I get it because I felt Ray was a bit Mary Sue-ish and some of the plot wasn't the greatest. But once again, I felt like some of the original series the suffered. First on, the first movie was okay, Second one was like uh, second one is the worst out of the three in my opinion. But I everyone, don't know what they but were. everyone bashes the last Jedi as like or wait no that one the is third, the second one. Well, the third one you can't really get mad at him though because the guy seriously was trying to fix as much as he could. It's just like you know you get a messy ass plate and you're just like here let me pass it to you. Which uh, it's so funny to me <laughs> that everybody everybody's and once again the 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 rumors about Josh Whedon have never been great. He's never been like a stand up. Like that's what I've heard, yeah. But it's everybody pushes the fall of Justice League on on Whedon, forgetting that he was given half of a movie by a director who was already not a great, not a very popular director by any standard of what you would. He was consider. just up and coming still, and he he'd was, done I mean, a couple films by that point, and he'd already done Batman vs Superman and Man of Steel, which had both. That was his right, yeah, yeah. And once again, his his big selling point like his only really big movie in his past is 300 that's the only really there well we go. That's the it's one the that only did. one like i've looked and you could tell right away that that's his style yeah. because dark that no dark. colors freaking most of it grayed out yeah and once again <laughs> cool for 300 cool for watchmen i like i like watchmen better than any of his other films 
any of them. I think hmm. that is the area, that one and 300, these serious, gritty, real takes on, like, bad shit. But yeah. why would you give him Superman, and why would you give him Wonder Woman? Batman, I could see. I could see Snyder doing a pretty good Batman movie, just not the one he did. DC just was like, they didn't want to go the happy comedy route like Marvel was going. We're going to go the gritty route, guy. <laughs> which, all right, but you're immediately going to do worse based yeah. on stats. Like, comedy sells better than tragedy. Mm-hmm. People like to feel good. I mean, once again, I don't, I don't make the psychological rules. I, an- <laughs> those are analyzed at, out of the textbook, man. There's, there's reasons for them, long historical ones. But I don't know, man. Like, once again, I think people are definitely too crazy harsh on stuff. I feel like people. Well, too, they grew, they just, I guess, like I said, they have entitlement, really, honestly. It, because they... I think even more than entitlement, they have the sense of right. Yeah. Like, yeah. you're entitled to your opinion, fine, but you don't get yeah, to tell yeah. everybody else how they should feel about something. Mm-hmm. Right? If you if it's not a hard fact, like the sun circles the earth or some shit, then they get to believe what they want to believe. And I mean, honestly, yeah. they can believe that too, that the world is flat or whatever, but <laughs> you know what I mean? Why you would attack someone's personal opinion of something is beyond me. Yeah. Uh, with with a couple exceptions, I mean, if you like little kids, you know, you need to be shot in the head. But aside from shit like that, like if you like, if you think Batman beats Superman, I mean, I might think you're dumb, but I don't know why I would fight you on your opinion. Mm-hmm. Like that's your opinion. Cool. <laughs> well, let's see then. Um, other things, I guess the show movie wise stuff going on. I did see uh, Ren and Stimpy is getting rebooted. Yeah, from yeah. Comic- Joe. that was interesting my, um, my pops actually told me that one he was like did you see this i was yeah, like i i you know i've always liked the show and it was oh well, okay i never really liked the show when i was growing up but then when i got when you're an older, adult it's watching a, lot better, a, few yeah. show, a few more episodes is when i watched as a little kid that I, I actually didn't like it because it was too like one you didn't gr- get any of the context i'm sure as a kid <laughs> no it was just too gross and like too like i don't know disturbing once, to me once as a again kid. there was no like as a kid all the jokes run over your head all the sexual Definitely innuendo was, all yeah. of the you know what i mean they're smoking a cigarette a bit well stimpy it was a good one you know what I mean? <laughs> that's gonna go over a six-year-old's head i'm and surprised I think that that even got through i mean but i've there's actually it was a documentary yeah, I guess it was, it's supposed yeah. to be coming out for it but um, I guess it, a lot of people said it, it set the stage for a lot of things for a lot of other shows to come Pretty to much be. besides The Simpsons, I think most other shows would have taken the lead from Ren and Stimpy and masking their comedy behind the childlikeness mm-hmm. of it. You know what I mean? That they were able mm-hmm. to slip in adult jokes while keeping it somewhat entertaining for children. Or mm-hmm. the other way around, it's entertaining for children and somewhat entertaining for adults. Yes, yeah. So we'll see how that goes. Um, I mean, it's only probably early production, so we probably won't even see this thing until year at least twenty twenty two. Yeah, that's what I yeah. guess. Maybe late twenty twenty one. But once so... again, I, at at this point, I think everything's been pushed so far. I was so far, so that some of it's not even that it's been pushed, but that nobody is getting news of it. So like, I yeah. was super irritated. I don't know if we talked about this last time, but I had been waiting for the English dub of One Piece to keep coming out. Oh, for it's still getting pushed. Ever. No, it came out. Oh, it finally came out? It came oh. out like months ago. <laughs> but there's no news of it anywhere. I... Nowhere. <laughs> I, yeah, I, I know. watch all the Reddits. I read all the goddamn react. I do it all. Nobody talked about it. Nobody. <laughs> it, it was for sale on the Viz and the uh, I I forget which other website, but it's for sale DVD box set whatever for the next huh. part. But that's it. And I was like, what the fuck? And it's only like thirteen episodes. But yeah. once again, I'm sitting here like, man, when is fucking coming out? I'm fucking rah, 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 bitching to myself, being stupid basically. <laughs> And I'm just like, really? You guys put it out and put no, nobody said anything. Nobody tagged anybody. Not the, I didn't see anything about it on the Facebook page. Nothing. Huh. It was awful. But Let's I mean, see, then. Uh, what else do we have here? We have 
HBO Max has got some stuff that is coming out. So September 3rd, they have Ridley Scott's new um, new thing. Um, he's got, it's what's it called? It's called Wolves. Raised by Wolves is what it's called. It's a new sci-fi movie or show. I think movie or show. One of the two that he's coming out with for them. Let's see. Let's see what it is. <laughs> Very sci-fi for sure. <laughs> Science fiction drama. Yeah, looks interesting. There's literally this lady who's just like doing with her mouth like back black bolt style, and then people are just exploding. <laughs> <laughs> interesting, especially because it looks like it's supposed to be based on androids and humans. Yeah. So it, yeah, we'll see how that goes. Uh, uh, it's, it a, it's a TV series, I guess. Is it a TV series? Yeah, yeah. I thought he'd go. It for It makes TV sense. Series. I mean, a lot of those concepts can't be fleshed out well in a single movie. It's hard. Um, Tom Hanks is supposedly uh, they're wanting him to play Geppetto in that live action Disney movie. Eh, I'm not sure uh, about that one. I'm. I was. It was the kind of difference between Lion King and Dumbo, right? I really thought Dumbo was pretty good. I didn't well, necessarily I thought like... Lion King was going to be good, and I hated it. You, there's no emotion on them. You can't That's see any animal like emotion. Yeah. There are some like things it. that are not supposed to go from animated to live action. They just don't work, right? Like, we've talked about most anime are not great live action transitions. The one mm -hmm. I think is extremely awful is One Piece. I don't think One Piece should ever get a live action adaption. It would look awful. Have you seen the crazy ass characters in there? They all look like then... monsters. <laughs> I'm just being serious. I love the series, but they I, don't look yeah. vaguely human. It'd be hard to yeah, be you know. It would just wouldn't look good. You could and bring it, it to life. Good, yeah. That's the thing. No, it's, no. It like yeah, it, and it not like everything. Crap, yeah. It would just look bad, right? Like I always think of like, all right, imagine his neck stretching twenty feet. It would look bad. It doesn't look cool. It's not like had like Pokemon, right? Pokemon look cool, realistic. Yeah, uh, it was all Dragon, that was was just like you had to do the Pokemon. And Dragon Ball Z, if done right, as we've seen in fan animations, right? Fan live action stuff looks way better than Dragon Ball good. Evolution. It yeah, could do good. Absolutely can work. It just, it does okay, right? There's just certain things that don't. And I think, uh, I think Pinocchio is one of them. Hmm. Okay, okay. I, well, I could mostly, but hear me out, not because of Pinocchio himself, but because of people like Jiminy Cricket and the, and the fairy and all these other side pieces that, yeah. that are very cartoony and rely on that in many ways to progress the story. Mm -hmm. Well, well I, the, the one good one I watched, I don't know if you ever remember watching that one. There was a, a live action Pinocchio movie done back in like the early two oh, i have to look at that for you but it was one of the better ones i liked growing up as a kid um and i was oh, i can't even remember the actor's name it was like a the adventures uh, of pinocchio or that might have been it or pinocchio because uh, there's one from 96 and one from 2002 okay the one i'm looking one from at is hold on yeah the one i'm looking at is called yeah, yeah the adventures of pinocchio yep that's it I do remember that one, and I think that one does well, but it's because they have a puppet. Yeah, it was a puppet. It was, yeah, a, puppet. It was a puppet. See, and I'd be okay with yeah. that if you did like an actual puppet and not like a super duper, maybe combo, right? Kind of like the Mandalorian did, half CG, half live action real effect. Yeah. You have a real puppet with, anim with CGI like popped on top of it or something. I could definitely see that. And apparently there was one in 2019, maybe that one was pretty good. Uh, it. I got, there's I got a trailer here, but. I don't if really... you do like me, into. It it looks interesting, but this is actually a really good example of what I don't want. If you well, maybe we'll put it on at the end. Oh, 2019, you said. Yeah. It's, oh yeah. Do you I see it? Yeah, already. Yeah, and once again. Yeah. It, it, it's just too much CGI on top of him, I think. And maybe that's an actual puppet, but it's that puppet is too real. It's too lifelike. The puppet mm -hmm. from 96 is still cartoonish and small and child very, like, maybe not. I don't know. And once again, there are things, like, where they have to give him a big nose. That's the thing. This guy doesn't have a big enough nose. He doesn't have the Pinocchio nose. I think that's mm -hmm. what's bothering me. 
that's yeah <laughs> so there's that news of that um a couple other last things in was um they let's see hold on hold on hold on i just had it here too uh i get oh the uh, game from Rocksteady. Did you see that leak here for a Suicide Squad game? No, I didn't actually. Yeah, they all they did was post a leak. A leak. Oh, is it that a, one with the thing Superman. over the face? Yeah, I did well, see that. Superman, and he had the Suicide Squad target on I, his yeah, head. Yeah, I, I did see that one actually. Now that so, I think about I'm it. I'm curious. Hmm, what they're gonna be going for on that Maybe one? Maybe they'll do good. The problem I mean, is they people. Did good Batman, so... All right, so let me say this: people always say DC has the best video games. The only good DC video games are the Arkham video games. That is yeah. the only time they've done good, and they stole everything about those games basically from Assassin's Creed. <laughs> yeah, the only thing fine. that they did have going for it was just that that combat system was awesome. Which I was, which was uh, pulled from Devil May Cry, I think. Once again, it had, it had no original systems. Nothing about that game was original. The original run hmm. was copied from like three different games, which is fine because that's how games work, right? You put different parts of different games and that's how you get a new game. But it didn't, there was nothing like revolutionary about Arkham. It was just a good game. It had a good story, mm -hmm. good artwork, good mechanics. It didn't bring anything new to the table. It just made a good Batman game. But my point being, those are the only good. They're always talking about how DC has the upper hand in video games, but they only have those video games. Mm -hmm. The old Superman video game. And then before that, I don't even think they really have many video games. No, they didn't have too much, really. There wasn't too Whereas much Whereas Marvel, Marvel, through its uh, comp with Capcom, has had tons and tons of great video games. Even back in the day, there used to be good Marvel video games like Spider-Man and shit on the PlayStation. That which, one, I, yeah, that was when I grew which up un, playing a lot. Unlike Batman, had unique mechanics and individual custom mechanics just to the game. There was no swing system like Spider-Man swing system back in the early 2090s. They made that system. Granted, mm -hmm. back then, you know, everybody had to make a new system for all the games, so it's it was a have to as opposed to a <laughs> chose to. But nowadays you don't. You just go into Unreal or into a different Unity or some shit and you make your video game. You add some custom coding or a new block in and that's how you get your your pizzazz. But And once again, I really like the Batman video games, but I think it's so strange that that is the big claim that DC has the best video games with only one franchise of them. Mm-hmm. You know what, they did do, uh, I forgot, they had released Injustice recently. Which were yeah, pretty good. Those are good, yeah, those are what I would say were pretty good games from them. Um, I guess the last thing I was going to say is Hulu is supposed to be coming out with Animaniacs. I did see that. I didn't see if they had any art changes or what the actual uh, premise was. I don't think was. they showed anything just yet. They just talked that they were right. going to redo I had, it. I had heard news of it, but I hadn't actually seen anything, which is why some of those I always – I hate putting news out because then we end up with like, oh, hey, guys, did you hear about the Gambit movie? Oh, well, yeah, that that never happened. <laughs> yeah, and that's my thing is like until I hear like concrete like production value stuff or see like stuff coming out, especially nowadays where everything is slowed down, I'm just like, all right, well, I really want that to happen, but I'm not, I'm not gonna hope for it because then I'll just be disappointed <laughs> when they don't get it done, jerks. Well, last thing is, um, I guess I wanted to say was the Mattel is coming really hard with the He-Man stuff this year. Really? Um, they're they're uh, redoing the original '80s toy line. Okay. So they already, I've already seen the He Man and Skeletors in Walmart's already. And, I, I just uh, want Beast Man. He's the only one I used to have. Yeah, I think they have Beast Man already. They have Glow Scro uh, Scarecrow, or whatever his name is. They have o Oink. Um, they have a few of the. Oh, they have. Uh, my brother picked up the uh, the Tiger, the Green Tiger. So they had that coming out. Um. They have, yeah. They have. They have a whole thing planned out coming because I, I. You know. It seems like it's going to be the year of the '80s and '90s retro stuff. With Teenage Mutant Turtles making a comeback. GI Joe's making a comeback this year. So before GI Joe and Transformers make a comeback every like five years. 
Remember those yeah, movies they Joe's had ten like, years ago? <laughs> yeah, no, G, but like GI Joes right now, like they just did a new wave with Hasbro, and a lot of people are loving the new Snake Eyes. It's, I guess it's the new uh, technology with the toys that they're coming out with this photo real, uh, photo realistic. Yeah, that they, can they do have on uh, their toys now. They have Scantrons. Well, and just with plastic printing, it's a lot easier to get exactly what you want from yeah, the process. So yeah, they, so yeah, a lot of people, and then there's, I guess there's just really hardcore GI Joe uh, once collectors again, out there. Still. And once again, that's how these markets exist. Is like once again, we're not selling toys to kids anymore. You know, once, you know, the kids aren't buying these. They, they, toys they know, anymore. yeah, that these are you for know adults, for yeah. Yeah, they and know they, who and they're they going it for it. Because they I, come with like this accessories, different hands oh, now. Yeah. And once you again, can, they, like, the kids nowadays don't give a shit about that. I mean, I don't even think they care about toys in general it's all video games and phone well, games my, and... my son uh i got him into he collects the godzilla NECA well, toys. well yeah but he's you got, got, got him like into about that. nine of them <laughs> but they're so awesome these little godzilla toys we bought another one the other day it was the tokyo sos version nice. and he's so badass the tail is like way more articulate than all the his other godzillas because some of the other ones you can kind of bend the tail but then it will just kind of fall off because the ball doesn't go all the way but now this other new tail has so much more articulate articulation and then we can like do all these cool things with them like this is a much better godzilla toy but i guess they lost the license to it now and uh in august they won't be making no more godzilla toys so because playmates um they're going hardcore with their stuff for their king kong they acquired the license i guess for the king kong versus godzilla movie i actually just seen those toys uh two days ago too in the store eh, I, that's that the great. only thing i don't like about new toys which is why retro toys are better in my opinion the fucking new toys be spoiling shit all the time yeah yeah they always show off to yeah they always uh well they go for the movies look up and, stuff shit. and they're like even before they even come out, like the the toys that are in production, and they they post the pictures and stuff. Yeah, they exactly. Like, like Professor really Hulk was a big part of that. I remember for Endgame, they had already made the Professor Hulk toys, and once that came out, everybody knew it was going to be Professor Hulk. So they I just think really set it off too, because Funko came out with one, and yeah. they actually said Professor Hulk. Yeah. On it. <laughs> um. But so yeah, there's those toys coming out. Yeah, it looks like I said it's going to be the year of the '80s and '90s retro toys coming out again. Um, so people are loving all that stuff. Uh, what else? Uh, I know. Yeah, like I said, GI Joes are coming the back. Turtles are a big thing this year again. Um, what else here? I think that was it from Mattel. I didn't really hear anything from Hasbro. I know Hasbro's coming out with their their um, first new Black Series, new wave that they're doing. Um, so it's going to be on the Star Wars Rebels. So you'll have Ezra, Con uh, Connor, I forget his name, and then uh, Sabina or Sabine, and Ahsoka is actually going to be one of the ones on that list too, as well for the Rebels toy line. Nice. They uh, redesigned the the boxes for the Black series, so they they actually have like a nice, cool image on the side of the boxes now. Because before it used to just be all black; it would say their name have a number and that's about it uh but now they've actually added a nice cool uh design with some cool like uh coloring to it like they're all purple and if you get the whole series of that run you can actually align them together and they actually create a picture so yeah i think like that's pretty cool for the box collectors yeah um so they have that coming out that, that just really uh released and these are the ones that are supposed to have more better um uh face sculpts with the you know the new technology that they're coming out with it's interesting because so, they can only once again like you talked about licensing they can only do certain faces for those things yeah 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 because of Cause likeness yeah right so you can't of, get like a real I know, likeness one. yeah yeah exactly so That's funny. It, it, yeah so it, we'll see uh, there's some pretty cool ones i actually pre-ordered i only did the uh, ahsoka i only buy what i like i don't like to be one of those i have to have the whole run <laughs> in the story that, that it just that depends story. uh for me if the run's good enough right then i get the whole run. yeah but mm -hmm. there's very few runs that the whole run is good man like, yeah there's gonna it's... be like a few toys i'm like i don't really care for that one and i don't care for that guy I the only one i did actually buy the full run was was they came out with the uh the and I had to have these ones. It was the animated uh, versions of Ahsoka from. It was actually the last uh, season of Clone Wars. Okay. So they came out with the two Mandalorians, the ones with uh, Darth Maul's horns on them. Okay. And then they had the uh, 
the other Mando, the loyalist uh, Mandos for Ahsoka, who are kind of just the wearing the blue kind of regular Mando outfits. And then they had the clone troopers with the uh, the tribute to Ahsoka. So they had that like face uh, face paint on their helmets okay. that they did on the last season. Yeah. That uh, was so they yeah, that, that, those are pretty cool. And then they had Ahsoka, but. Her face sculpt is a little bit cooler because it was more based on the animated version. So I thought I liked that uh, version a little bit better because the Ahsoka that is in the Rebels is a little bit more, I don't know, she's less cartoonish is what people have said. Well, once and, again, it's one of those things where more realistic is not always better, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's just not. Sometimes. So, I mean, yeah, she's okay. So, But I had to get that one because I was like, oh, this one looks like the anime the version so i'm like yep that's cool that's so she was a must buy <laughs> so yeah i bought a few black series stuff um but those are pretty cool toys uh, and like i said that's what i've been hearing from uh, uh hasbro oh i don't know if i hear it but hasbro has this 350 dollar sentinel that's coming. yeah you were I think we were talking like, about the giant yeah uh, right it's like 26 feet i'm like oh my gosh i'll oh, buy it have, when they uh, do the tri sentinel <laughs> Yeah, they 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 have actually this uh, transformer, the unicorn, the uh, and it's supposed to, literally somebody posted up. It's supposed to take you an hour to transform it. That, that yeah, like, no, what? I saw that one too. You, I actually did see that one, bro. But back in the day, that wasn't even like. I mean, shit, man. I granted, if you were good at them, but shit, back in the day, you really had to transform those motherfuckers. Yeah, it wasn't yeah, no this... joke. That shit was real complex. You could break it too if you weren't careful. Yeah, I didn't know what you were doing. Yeah, that so and it's about five hundred and seventy-five dollars. Um, but got yeah, like it's three hundred. It was. It's huge. It's huge. I seen them well, I mean, posted shit, up. Shit, bro, thing it's supposed is to be a whole goddamn planet. So that's yeah, really so those like... are the comics I want to get back into are the fucking. Uh, and those ones and then a couple others like Sonic where I want to get in because they're actually really big universes. Like they oh, built yeah, them in the scale. Sonic comics. They, uh, I used to. That's where I started. Right now. I don't know how they're doing this currently. I know the old Sonic comics were really good. I don't know how they, they are, are. Well, it's the, it's the same writer. So is it the same still, run though? Yeah. Because even it writers don't is, always it, have It the feels like it is. It feels like it is because they talk about things that I have no freaking idea that's – well, That's it might not be the same run still, though, but it might be the same uh, universe there. I doubt yeah, it's still it's, the same run because this is like it 10, might be the same universe. I don't know. You'll have to read it because, like I said, there's they there's things that they talk about that, like, I have no idea what the – like, they talked about Supersonic and everything. Oh, yeah, Supersonic, that was the older comics, so I'm like – uh huh. There's a there's so much yeah. Then that's why I said they built a really good universe around it. Same with Transformers, where they they are always talking about them in versus battles, and they're just like, oh, well, they're, they'll stomp at him. I'm like, well, from what I've heard and some of the panels I've read, like these guys are supposed to sometimes be galaxy busters and crazy. Have you checked out the of... new show for Transformers? It just came no, out. No, War of Cybertron. I want to sit down and watch it with my pops because he really. Oh likes, yeah, uh... he'll love it. He'll it love it. I'm gonna movie, tell you right now. Or is it a series? Uh, the it's a series, but okay. I've been hearing all the OG. Uh, I've heard everybody people. loves it. The old guys and the new guys have been raving. This and it's one of those things again where like, right? Like if it there's there's very few things that are just universally like basically universally like let's say like 80 plus percent and this transformers is like an 80 plus percent so it must be good you know what i mean most people yeah. you know what i mean even if i don't it, like it, it it's, it's not like for it's kind of for kids but it you could tell for sure it's, that i heard that it, it was for the more. 80s kids that it was not for that it was for the kids from the 80s and that it really did pull a lot of the old cybertron war shit out that it was less mm -hmm. about. I think we talked about that. There's less about the humans and more about the transformers. I even think I heard some cussing in there, which would that would be the <laughs> only mean, thing that's new because in the '80s you can cuss. But I mean, I I I swear I was like, did he just say ass or something? I couldn't remember. He said something or shit. I couldn't remember what he said. I was like, did he just say what? It Is would be funnier if it was what they used to do, where they would do like not curse words, but they would use words that sounded oh, like curse like, words, yeah, but were car yeah. words or I, something. You know what I mean, like. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, but they, they were actually it. cussing. So. Yep, yeah, you have to watch it. It's with your dad. You have, have to show him love it. I've, yeah, I've been telling him – I've been trying to get him on the new season of Umbrella Academy as well. I mean, Oh, he'll love that too. I think it was Oh, yeah, good. he it liked the last I think one. it was better than the first one. I liked everything but the ending. I thought the ending was really, really lazy. They oh, with the whole kind of just the timeline and he messed no, up anyways. No, just with the chick. With the drawing oh. with the chick where they were really not – 
shadowing any of her stuff ahead of time without with yeah, the exception of one yeah, or two yeah. things oh, it was yeah, just yeah, like I see what you mean. and i and i knew i was like well, what are they gonna do because they got vanya here so unless you got some real big guns that you have not at all foreshadowed in any singular way then they're gonna be like no issues because they're like all right here's yeah. a, a a billion dudes and i'm like Vanya you can literally kill everyone in that field in one hit and she did yeah and then it was like, oh, well, I also have a mystical, magical eighth. That we, uh, <laughs> well, once again, it was one of those ones where they had the opportunity and they did some really meager foreshadowing in her fight with five. Yeah. Yeah. So that was the only time that's that the I only... actually, that's, because then when I, fi- when I finally got to that part, then I was like, oh, okay, that's why. See, she, and I, the problem was that. that they, one, they that... didn't have it depicted that you never showed that it was from five, right? You could have interpreted it as a time ability. You could have interpreted it as yeah. any number of things. At first I things. thought it was him, but then I was like, well, wait a no, minute. I no, I saw, yeah, that she would be like, he's like, where, where is she? She's disappeared. And I'm like, but once again, it didn't So that leave. was the only thing they showed, though, really, honestly. It, though, right, there and no there was other... no big foreshadowing. And even that was so bare bones that it could have been anything. There, It wasn't so similar to Five that you could make the well, connection. Yeah, no, they that, didn't do enough of it to, like, right, you know, it wasn't a good like... setup. And that it was, it was a very lazy setup compared to everything else in the series, right, which is very well set up from even back in Season 1, mm-hmm. where you'll have these setups of, like, General Hargreaves, right, or... All right, a good example of setup from season one to season two, old five. Yeah, that was cool. I like how they said that. They if randomly you... just brought that up. Hey, I'm actually going to be here at this time. <laughs> right, and he did right. that back then. It's like, well, what did you have to do? I, you know, had to ensure the assassination of JFK, how to do this, how to do that. Once again, those kinds of setups are master classes in writing, where later up to a season, or example, right, uh, it's a good example of the the, the hanging foot. Uh, my brother's been watching Black Lightning, and I need to go watch it. I've only seen like half a first season, I and I really do want to watch yeah, it. I haven't started that it's pretty one good, yet. actually. I'd say it's Luke Cage-ish in style. Okay, okay. Maybe not quite there in quality because it's the week-to-week TV show, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But it does good. DC shows do it, it. Honestly, it's probably better than some other DC shows. <clears throat> uh, Legend of the Marvel. But... Uh, <laughs> Apparently, there's this box, right, that has been in all three seasons. And my brother's like, I still don't know what the fuck this box is doing. <laughs> and that's set up. You know what I mean? Even if people might not you know, like the fact that they're setting up. And at any time, that box could be important. It's, yeah. The hanging shoe that- is the best shoe. It's So it's, it was good, <laughs> though. Besides that, once again, until episode 10, I was really I, – I will say I almost missed out. I was like – almost missed out on the relationship between Vanya and the chick because I'm like, am I projecting like my male fantasy onto these girls of them <laughs> digging each other? Or do they actually dig each other? I'm like, <laughs> okay, they actually dig each other. So I'm like, all right, you know, cool. But I remember I was watching it. And I'm like, and the fucked up part is now I'm watching this new, another show where I'm getting the same vibes. It's an anime show where I'm like, they hooking them up, and I'm just like, or am I just like fan shipping them together? You, yeah, you. Uh, there's always like little hints. You're like, hmm, that felt and, a little. And they that were, felt a little and they were good. They were like, intimate. yeah, I was like, oh, you know what I mean? Or like, oh, you're the only one who can handle what's his fuck, the little kid. I don't, I didn't care about his name, Harlan. Harlan. <laughs> that was it. I mean, it was good. It was really good. It, it fit the dynamic. Once again, things that you would not have thought were going to be important became important klaus is old or maybe not important but be, we're still relative klaus's uh army Love. yeah yeah which once again was set up from back in season one when he you know what i mean mm-hmm. that's a big setup and and even if they never used it they had the ability to whereas i feel like right they could have set it up so that back in season one and there were eight but unfortunately one died and now there are only seven <laughs> right it, it, it's literally as easy as one line to set up something like that and leave it open and have a hole and it it looks like your camera went off too i see now <laughs> it, it went off for a second it should be on now you're probably a couple of oh, okay it probably just yeah that's showing yeah online. it goes on and off i gotta oh, there it switch goes. There to it goes. The, there yeah it goes. so you're probably about a minute or two behind because that was a little bit right. back uh having said that we are at our hour so that's we probably what i was gonna don't say go yeah too 
just to say. Uh, but we did a good session here. It was good for whoever came by. I appreciate you. Shout out to all the patrons getting early access and stuff. You guys make uh, something work. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, hopefully next week there will once again be more to talk about. Maybe maybe we'll get a conf- confirmation on New Mutants and Ted and we can just like lock down the fact that we can go to theaters. My thing is, once again, I understand the public self and safety concerns. But it should be any individual American's right to risk their own personal safety. Mm-hmm. And then they say, well, right. then you'll you'll burn the medical system. Well, that's why you have insurance, right? Right. <laughs> but, yeah, thank you, everybody, for coming, and we will catch you next time on Comic-Con. Sounds good. We've been bros since way back. Got hoes since way back.